What? Your wish? What is it? Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. You mean you aren't here to kill us or bring us back? I find that hard to believe. The only way into these caves is through the Academy. You must be a sick. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you have heard about us. Yes, we ran away before Master Uthar could execute us. Is that so hard to believe? My name is Thalia May. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Open fire! Get them! Get them!
Why? Sure. Your wish? Oh. Sure. 
What is it? On the order! What is it? Your wish? Yeah, yes? What is it? Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lore, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. No, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business. Huh? Sure. Your wish? 
What? in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Oh, a human. Beware of this. This spirit. It may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? I do. And yet I do not. The Force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul... Uh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. 
Ancient? Has it been so long that you used the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost, I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought, so wrong. Our Jedi Masters, those who had taught us to use the Force, who warned us against the dark side, yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow, and here we fell. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my sword. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my soul. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Our oldest secret is buried, but not here. I remember nothing else. I cannot help you. I shall not tell you. Our oldest secret, I shall not be gone. Never. I shall destroy you first. Wish? I heard I there it is. <laughs> How can you the one that 
the Jedi whose troops saved me on Taras. It was Revan, leading an army out to defeat the Mandalorians. It was you. I knew when I heard that you had become the Dark Lord of the Sith, that something was wrong with it. The man who saved me could never go completely to the dark side. It is good to know that you have truly changed. It gives me hope. I do not think now that I will fall to the dark side. I only have to look at you and follow by your example, and there is no way I can fail. I... I am sorry. I did not realize. I will endeavor to be more considerate in the future. I will never forget what you did for me, even if you do not remember it. Yes. I saw you come in here and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunta Paul for some time. It's been quite a night. Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Nice try. I may not know what the sword looks like, but I'm no gullible fool. I'm not about to pass up a chance to impress Master Uthar. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword. Isn't it obvious? You die. Rule of the Sith, only the strong and cunning shall survive. You won't be missed, trust me. Now hand it over. Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. Huh? That hurt. Yes. What? You? You have the sword. The sword of a gentle ball. That's it, isn't it? How did you ever acquire it? Are you joking with me? The Sith Lord still lives? Oh, that is quite interesting. Uh, my mentor told me that Sith apparitions might be possible, but I never truly believed it. Well, thank you for the information. I must go and inform my mentor at once of this strange news. Oh, my God. 
Audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. Must kill sentience. What? This hurt. I said. This hurt. I said. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 